Hello everybody and welcome back to No Man's Sky. So, uh, got a little short video here. Uh, I got a comment from one of the viewers on one of the episodes. They were watching my Polestar Redux episode number one and it was a Brian Cadips G5080 mentioned at a certain point in time during the video I mentioned that I couldn't collect any of the uh, boxes at one of the freighters because someone had set up a base there and it wouldn't allow me to terrain manipulate down to the boxes. Well, he mentioned in his comment, he says, if you highlight the cargo box, walk over it and hit, and the hit box lights up. All hit boxes are larger since 4.0, and you should be able to gather the underground items without digging. Um, never tried it. I haven't tried it. I didn't even think about trying it, so it didn't, never occurred to me to give that a shot. So I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm on board my freighter at the moment, as you can see. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think... I think I have, uh, yeah, you're going to see some interesting stuff in my inventory. I got a lot of crap in here. Apologies. Um, where are we here? I need maps. Charts and miscellaneous. Here we go. Planetary. Yeah, these are the ones we want. So, hey. E. Oh, back one. I could have just hit Q. Ah, uh, you stink. I don't think we're going to need more than... I'll just grab the seven. I don't think we're going to even need that much. And, uh, oh, you remember me saying I need to clean up my inventory? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that real quick. I've got a trade terminal around here. Somewhere. I mean, yeah, here we go. <laughs> so much stuff on here. Okay, let's get rid of these bones while we're at it. Uh, I don't think we need those, those, those. 21 Sentinel Boundary maps. Yeah, I've been playing with those guys for a little while, haven't I? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not worried about the more light. Partial skeleton, ancient skeletal fragments. Intriguing ones. Aged. Crumbling. Grubby. Curious. Peculiar. Good gravy, I've got a lot on here. I'll keep you boys. Let's get rid of the lumpy brain, brain stems. I kind of gumming up my inventory. Uh, we'll get rid of the hard frame engines. I got a ton of those. Uh, hang on to the walker brains. It's good to have keep in, in inventory. A million dollars for that one, huh? I think I'm getting to the point of being almost maxed out on credits at this point, so I got to be careful. All right, let's go through real quick. I think we cleaned it out. I don't need the defense chip. Goodbye. Oh, missed one. And another one. I think that is it. Okay. Let's check it out. Much better. Get a little extra on the other stuff, but that's okay. Keep you, keep you. And I'm going to stick you in the starship which I'm using my Golden Vector at the moment, so that's fine. And i got a lot of stuff in the Golden Vector, too, that probably doesn't need to be there. Yeah, I'll leave it there for now. It's all right. All right, let's go find ourselves a freighter. Um, yeah, where's my entrance? <laughs> Getting lost in my own ship. <laughs> all right. Off we go. Where you be, Golden Vector? I think you're back here. There you are. Alright. Zoom, zoom. Oh, we're upside down this time, huh? Love it. Let's find one on our home planet, shall we? And this, as I mentioned in one of my other episodes, uh, you're probably going to get this episode before you get that episode. It's Planet Lemley. I didn't name the planet, and at the time I probably should have, instead of showing I discovered it, I should have named it however I wished, because this is my favorite planet, and I build here all the time on every single save. Uh, it's in the Isentum Galaxy, and the system has... I'll show you. This is the planet I'm on. As you can see, it's got Paradise Planet, Star Bulb, Copper, usual stuff. This is a tectonic planet. 
this is also a paradise planet. And this is a swamp planet. And this is also a paradise planet. I have three paradise planets in the system, and which is uh, virtually unheard of. So my system, I claim it as my own. Okay, so we're going to have to find ourselves a freighter. So let's do that. Let's go to our Starship inventory and see what we find. Now, if we don't find what we're looking for, it sounds a distress signal. So we found a crashed ship, and I can check that out in a little bit. I'm going to do it again. And we should find something different, which should be a freighter or an abandoned base. Observatory. Now, that's the other thing you can find. Distress, another distress signal. One of those will be a freighter. 43 hours. This one might be right here. Let's hit our boosters and see how far away. Three minutes. Let's go take check it out. Get up to the upper atmosphere where we're going to be doing a lot faster run. Ah, okay. Nope, okay. Apparently I'm not far enough out of the atmosphere to get there. Okay, looks like we're close. So again, one of these will be a freighter, one of them will be a crashed ship. Come on, baby. I know you're fast. This is not a freighter. Okay, so this is just a crashed ship. Uh, I'll take a peek real quick just to see what it's, what it is, and whether it's worth worth even looking at. B class, five point four million. That's eh, all right. If we ever want to get it, we can. All right, let's go after this one. This time we're going to go out into space. All right, this should be a freighter. I've never heard it finding two wrecked ships together. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. Again, it's another wrecked ship. Well, I'll be darned. I didn't know you could find more than one at a time. Looks like just a shuttle. Oh, you know who this is? This is a person. That's why I can't see the shuttle. See? He's right there. Now, you could help him. If you ever run across these, you could help him out. Uh, Life Arm cannot do something... Offer to investigate. And what you can do is look at the ship and determine what's wrong with it. Repair the ship. Okay. Ship's now repaired. I hurt myself a little bit. Talk to him one more time. And he thanks me. You wave farewell. And he gives you something. Standing is increased with the Corvax. And occasionally you get some nanites. And ship gone. Okay, so, very weird. Let's see if we can find a freighter here. Abandoned building, okay, we don't really need that. Okay, see, it tells me something else has been found. So we'll do it again. Distress beacon. Let's do it again. Okay. Can't. Keep going. Come on. You can do it. All right. Give me a freighter this time. Come on. Freighter crash site located. Okay. That's over there. Which is off planet. Okay. So before we go off planet, I'm sure you're all as interested as I am. Let's go figure out what this ship is. How far away is it here? 
20 minutes, okay. Okay, here we go. Just see what kind of ship it is, because I haven't run across this many crashed ships in a while. See if this is another person who is stranded, or if it's something else. Every now and then you find yourself a decent ship, and if you can find one on your own planet, um, literally nothing here. I'm going to land, because most likely what happened is, you know, I see the four oxygen. I wonder if this was my... Oh, that's creepy. This might have been mine. Yeah, this was mine. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Whew. That's not, no reason to be creeped out over that. A little bit. There we go. Got high enough. All right, we're off to here. This is on our tectonic planet. Hey, it's got basalt here. That's interesting. As an actual item that you can mine. So that is pretty cool. Okay. Good to know that in my own system. Because they changed that in 4.0, I think. I think you couldn't get it from anything else anymore. All right. Brian, we're putting your message to the test here. Let's see what happens. Oh, of course there's going to be a volcano right there. Did they change it? Wow, it glitched out. Good. Got rid of the volcano. Okay. Okay, so I'm not going to go for the ones inside. Uh, there's one right over here. Let's take a look. So uh, my guess is what we're supposed to do is actually do this. Go over it. And we should be able to access it, right? Can we access it this way? Hmm. Maybe like that. Scanning, we're literally at destination reached. And I'm trying to get to it. I must be doing something wrong. So I'll tell you what, Brian, do me a favor. Um, if you see this video, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and get into the comment here and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Because I can't seem. I'm 6U away from it. I can't seem to get any closer. I'm at 5Us right now. I'm within the box. And I can't access it. So maybe it's only something that's pleasant, present on PlayStation or Xbox or something like that, not on PC. Uh, an idea maybe for you, whatever game system you're playing, if you're playing something special. Maybe it's only on the Switch. I don't know, maybe you're playing it on the Switch. That could be a possibility too. So let me know if that is what is going on here. Because my understanding is you always had to be within reach of it, and you always had to have absolute access to get it. So there is two others, three, three others here. So if I do just a little bit, no, a little bit more, can't access it. Now I can access it. So I have to be down low enough or close enough to it to access it as far as this one's concerned. So I did actually have to dig down just a touch to get to this one. All right, let me try one more, and I'm going to leave the other two for his comment or for anybody else. If anyone else knows of the trick behind this, let me know. Um, I know that you can get through those, regardless of whether there's a base here or not. So I'm going to have my tray manipulator on. I'm going to look through here, find that. How close do I need to be? I can. I can do it here. So this is working, although part of the unit is exposed from the ground. 
Okay. Radiation still kicks me, huh? That's interesting. All right. I'm not going to take this one because I know this one is very well buried. It's going to be right here. Yeah, I cannot select it at all. So that is my guess, is that you still have to be within reach of it. And that there's that one and that one over there I cannot get unless I'm within reach. This one over here, I'm going to say no as well. Let me see what happens. Six U, six five. I'm at five U. I need to be within four U. Maybe if I go to first person. Ah, isn't that interesting? Hold on. Uh, where's the other one? Now oh, I got got that one. Let's go to the other one that's over here. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, right there. Can I get to it? No. That one I cannot, still cannot. Oh my gosh, yes I can. Brian, you have been vindicated. I can get to all of it, but you have to be in first person view. I can't do it in third person because apparently the camera itself has to be close enough to do it. Well, that is interesting. So did I get this one already? Right here. Look at that. Brian, thank you very much. Thank you very much. It looks like that is exactly what we needed to do. And this one I think I already got, right? Yes, I did. Okay. And that's the reason why I don't like doing the first person view, because I can't quite see to do what I need to do. Very cool. Maybe I ought to get used to doing first person view. Maybe that's the whole point behind all this. Well, thank you. Now I gotta go out that door. And we'll get the last one. Excellent. Thank you, Brian. Once again, folks, so there I've learned something new. It only seems to work in first person view. You can't do it in the third person. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to number two. So I can just jump in and out whenever I want. And that way, when I'm in my ship, I can still do first person view whenever I want here, too. Excellent. Well, that was an excellent, excellent run. I appreciate that, Brian. Thank you. I want to uh, show my appreciation to you. I think we ought to say that that was a very good idea. Appreciate you letting me know. Um, and thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you all for watching. I hope you've learned something new today, too. And we'll see you again in another video.